Welcome back to Offroad Outlaws, guys, and today we are going to be attempting to build some ridiculously fast quads. Now, this one is obviously already built. This one was actually, so a subscriber, Banana101, actually sent me the tune that I've been using on this thing, and it is ridiculous. So if you have been on any of my recent Offroad Outlaws streams, you will have seen this thing, and if not, I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick demonstration run with this quad. However, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the tune that is on this quad and we're going to be applying it to the drag quad which is right here because supposedly that could be even faster I'm not sure but I'm going to apply it to that one and see how it does but like I said before we're going to go ahead and test this thing out first and basically this was kind of designed for a mega truck racing map which is kind of odd because Normally, you wouldn't think to design a quad for a mega truck map, but it works. It is silly, silly, silly fast. And what I mean by that is, when you lock everything down and you actually go, I mean, it is, it's ridiculous. I'll pull up the speedometer so you guys can watch it. And it just gets out of the hole and goes. It's like, three, two, one, yeet. It, it just, you literally just hold down the throttle and it takes off. And the crazy part about it is, you would think that with these tiny tires, it would get bogged down in the mud. However, that doesn't happen, as you're about to see. Let's go! So it clears the first jump fairly easily, and then when it gets into the mud, it doesn't let up. Now, we, if we could get off the wall, that would help, but when it gets into the mud, it doesn't let up at all. You just lay into the throttle, and it goes. I mean, it picks up to over 40 miles an hour, which in the mud, over 40 miles an hour in the mud is right on par, if not a little bit faster than a Cybertruck, which again is absolutely ridiculous because a Cybertruck in the mud is, is going to be one of the fastest things out there. Now, let's see if we can nail a quick little, quick little backflip. Oh my God. Ah, that was sick. That wasn't. Now, that's gonna... Okay, if you could, like, not and say you did, that would be awesome. So let's go ahead and go back now, and I'm gonna show you guys the tune on this thing, and then I'm going to walk through the process of building this same setup on a drag quad, like a dedicated drag quad, and seeing if that works better. So, tuning-wise, on this thing, we have axis width of 0.1, both in the front and the rear, our damping is around 3,200. It's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be that big of a difference if you're a little bit higher or a little bit lower. But damping is gonna be, like I said, around 3,200. And then your stiffness is gonna be around uh, 12,250. Let's see, 12,300. Yeah, okay. So about anywhere from like 12,200 to 12,300, you're all right. And then travel is obviously going to be maxed. And then your rear axle offset on this one is going to be 0.09. However, we are going to have to transfer that over to the new one. So I don't own one of those drag quads. So we're going to have to go and buy one, which is fine. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one up. And firstly, we're going to go ahead and build it all the way out. If it would actually respond to what I'm clicking, because I'm trying to build it up quickly. And durability, again, is obviously going to be maxed out. I'll throw an e-brake on it just because... And we will also do a full turbo setup, a full stage four turbo setup. Now, we are going to go ahead and do, let's see. Well, that's already done, like I said before. And tuning wise, I'm pretty sure, like I said, on this one, you only really get one option. And that's ATV independent type, ATV solid type. Yeah, that's about it. So suspension tuning wise, fully max it out stage five. We'll start out in the front. With an axis width of 0.1, a damping rating of 3200, 3245, close enough. A stiffness of about 12.3, 12 12.37, that's fine. And then travel will be fully maxed. Now, in the back, it's going to be, like I said before, an axis width of 0.1. And once we get that sorted out, we're going to go with a damping of, again, about 3200 which should make it fairly good over those bumps and jumps. And that's going to be... Oh, oh God. Oh, you can bring it all the way back in if you really want to, but... Whew, that's too long. What do I have it out on the other one? I mean... Can you just, like, make the rear drive shaft longer? 
just like me <laughs> that's ridiculous let's because i've never tuned this one before let's set it at like 0.2 because that's already dumb long like that's already silly absolutely silly and then stiffness wise this one is again going to be at about 12 3 12 4 which again should be okay and then travel can be maxed okay so we've got all of that sorted out and now really all we have to do is oh we have gearing as well to handle so let's go ahead and upgrade to stage 5 gearing and then i have to check the gearing of the other one i'm gonna go ahead and throw a perfect setup on this thing we're gonna run the dyno We're going to be a max horsepower of 95 and a max torque of 71. However, due to certain glitches, certain sound glitches, now we have to go into the go into the barn and move something out to disable the sound glitch. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So let's go back to this one now and compare the gearing. So it's going to be 3, 2, 2, 0, 1, 5, 1, 2, and 0.9. 3, 2, 2, 0, 1, 5, 1, 2, 0.9. So let me see if I can remember that. I probably won't be able to fully remember that, but let's see if we can. So we've got 3, 2, 2, 0, 1, 5? Is third 1, 5? I'm having a little bit like, at like first gear, second gear, I was like, yeah, I'm good. And after that, I was like, gone. Hey, I was right. So 1, 5, 1, 2, and 0. 0.9. That's fine. So we can go ahead and get that done now. So 1, 5, 1, 2, and 0. 0.9. So there's 0. 0.9 right there. Not going to worry about low gear or low range. I'm not going to worry about that at all because that's not really my... That's not really my focus with this thing. And obviously, we could do a little bit more to the visual aspect of it, but that's coming up now. So let's go ahead and it doesn't really matter what wheels we put on it because we're going to make them tiny. We're genuinely just going to make them tiny. And I wonder if, oh God, I wonder how this, this setup would look with beadlocks because we're going to end up making the whole entire wheel setup tiny, like completely and totally tiny. Now, let's go and do... Stage 5 wheels and tires, that's fine. So part of this formula is to make the wheels themselves as tiny as possible. And as you can see, the ones in the back are literally like, they're, they're so small that technically they would be dragging on the ground. But apparently this works. Like apparently it still works. So I'm not going to question it. That's what I did on the other one and it worked fine over there. So we're going to hope that it works fine over here as well. Now, body-wise, let's go ahead and throw some white HIDs on this thing and a repair pack on the back. Snorkels. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm not going to worry about a winch. A winch is not necessarily something that I'm super concerned about. Let's do a... Well, hmm, we do like a gloss paint job. And maybe a... Hmm, maybe a red... But then again, most of my vehicles are red already. I like the blue. The blue, like, especially in the chrome, really sets it off. I dig that. Yeah, I dig that. And you know what? Just to actually have it there, I know it's going to be really, really small, but it'll be like a little intricate detail. Um, we're going to have to, like I said, make this super small, but we could still put the logo right there on the side. Again, like I said, it's going to have to be super tiny. But that's okay. That's okay. It'll just be a nice, like, nice little detail. We don't really do, like, tiny details like this on vehicles all that often. But it when you do actually do it, I think it's super cool. So we're going to go ahead and edit the text. We'll put TC right there. And again, we're going to make those letters completely, completely tiny. So let's ease that on down in there. Not bad. We'll set that right there. Are you gonna gonna be okay with that? Okay, yeah. Just just a little detail, just a little touch right there, just so it's just so it it sets it off a, a little bit. Now, tires wise, what did I put on the other ones? Did I put? Wait a minute. I think I put these guys. I'm pretty sure I put those guys. If 
if those are the wrong ones, I'm sure we'll find out very quickly. Although they are probably, not probably, they are the best rated in MUD. So let's go ahead and apply that and also verify that, yeah, okay, they're the same on the other one. So this setup should, in theory, be really, really, really good. In theory, it should be really, really, really good. And just, just to be over the top about it, we're going to get a gigantic tow rig. Like a gigantic, gigantic tow rig. And we'll move out this trailer, our TC trailer, because I really dig that. And then we will tow it. Actually, why don't we tow it with our... Oh, wait. Did it put the XJ in the... Yeah, it did. We'll tow it with this. Yeah, we'll tow it with that. So let me go back to the trailer. And we'll equip the trailer so it's all ready to go. We don't really have to worry about it. There's my other quad, and then here's the one that we're about to test out. So let's load that on the trailer. We'll load that on the trailer, get it ready to go, and grab our cat eye, which, by the way, this logo, like, I tried a little bit of, like, weird layering with the, uh, with the kind of, like, with the logo itself, and it doesn't look like much when you're in the yard, but when you go out into, like, a map, you're like, wait a minute, that looks different. And it does. It actually, that's the cool thing about it, is that when you take it out into the game, it actually has this weird kind of glow to it. And I don't at all, like, I don't at all try to say that I'm any kind of, like, you know, design specialist or anything like that. But once you bring it out here, it actually kind of looks like it's got this weird background glow to it. It's very subtle, but it, it's kind of cool. So, now, obviously, the front of that trailer is way up in the air. This is completely impractical. And when you go to back up, it actually pulls the rear wheels of the truck off the ground. So, we're going to park Send It Max over here. And we're going to get that trailer detached. And get the quad unloaded. Now, this will be test one of this quad. Holy smokes! Okay, yeah, it's silly. It feels faster than the other one. Like, I can tell you that right off the bat, it feels faster than the other one. All right. So, are you going to be crazier than the last quad we tested? We're going to find out in three, two, one, go. Dude, it gets off the line like crazy. Okay, yeah, it's fast. Woo! It's, it's a lot faster, but it's also a maniac because... If you hit a jump wrong, you can barely keep it on the course. All right, let's try... What? It goes through mud like it's standing still. Or not, like I say, so like the mud. Basically, it makes you feel like the mud is standing still. And you can just keep it flat out the whole time. Because that rear axle is pushed so far back that you'll never flip over when you hit the ground. That is wild. All right, we have to run this again. Interestingly, the other one with the same gearing goes 94. This one goes 97. Well, that was interestingly impressive. Okay. Now, just to make sure that this is fresh for another go. Let's see. It's going to repair. Ah, $13. Don't worry about it. But let me go into drone mode real quick and see if we can get, like, a really good look at this thing. And I just, I just feel like... The other one I felt was so fast that I never bothered to build this one because I didn't figure that it would be that that impressive compared to, you know, compared to the other one. But it is. Like, this is silly, silly levels of fast and silly levels of impressive. And I gotta say, like, this is probably the fastest quad I've ever built. Now, are there faster quads out there? I'm sure there are, but when you're talking about, like, stuff that's fast on this particular course, this particular course, like, oh my god, I gotta, gotta grab a picture of this thing. But, like, on this particular course, I, this might very well be the fastest thing in my garage for, like, for racing on this course. Now, let's return to the vehicle one more time. Set this camera up. We won't use the speedometer this time. Three... Two, one, go! It just gets up and goes like nothing I've ever seen. You have to lift in the mud so that you don't overshoot and go like, go wild and go off the course. It gets through the mud like nothing, nothing else. 
<laughs> I cannot believe what we have built here. This, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's so fast that it almost doesn't make sense. I love it. I absolutely, absolutely freaking love it. Now, feel free to co to copy this tune. Um, for those of you watching out there, feel free to copy this tune. I'm sure, you know, the original creator of the tune would not be upset about that. And I'm sure, now that this video is out there, I'm sure we're going to see other versions of this thing out on my open lobby streams sometime soon. But, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.